Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Wong and I'm the founder of Orenta Jambu. Breast massage are getting more and more popular these days, uh, mainly because of uh, social media exposure. Uh, I'm sure you have seen more of uh, influencer mummies and superstar mummies are getting their uh, breast massage sessions. So a lot of mummies would think that, hey, no harm trying one. So it's just like a body massage, right? So what is breast massage? Where, why do I need it? Okay, so all my sessions with my clients, or clients who have seen me before, they all know that I like to ask a lot of questions. I like to ask about their breastfeeding schedule. I like to ask about their uh, baby feeding schedule or not. And in fact, I ask about their job scope because I want to help them to plan, help them to plan their breastfeeding journey. And of course, to help each of them to achieve their breastfeeding goals. So I have clients telling me that, oh Jessica, I intend to breastfeed for about three months because after when I go back to work, I cannot pump anymore and all. So I was like, okay, but do you want to stop or you are stopping it because of work? And they will tell me, I want to continue but this is my work. And that's when I'll advise them, why not you try this schedule that I propose to you. And then uh, I'll massage them and I'll tell them that how their breast is like and why is it that you need a session to smoothen the flow, to relieve engorgement. And I'll educate them about their own nipple and arola, like what kind of flank they need it as well. So uh, a breast massage session is not only to relieve block darts or to solve like a breast engorgement. In fact, it's much more. Your Masu, or even me myself, I actually share a lot with clients. I'll tell them a lot of breastfeeding information. I will educate them like what to do if you were to come, if you were to face this unforeseen circumstances. So uh, for my main group of clients are uh, exclusive pumping mums. Because when you pump, you have to understand that a breast pump will never clear your breast fully. So my clients will tell me that Hey Jessica, I pump on time, you know, I have never missed a pump, not even 5 or 10 minutes late. But why am I not getting the yield that I used to get before? For example, she used to get 120 meals in 15 minutes, but now she needs 20 to 25 minutes to get 120 meals. And that puzzled her because she feels that she's a very diligent mom. So I'll tell her, it's just like, you know, when we drive a car, how well we take care of our car, running at a certain speed, we have never speed before and all, right? You still have to go for servicing, correct? So this is why that you need a breast massage to service your breast massage to service your breast. Because after the session, you will actually feel that your breast has been like a reset mode and it will be very soft. And that's when your body will tell that, oh, I need to produce again. I need to catch up again. I need to fulfill my body's desire, my body wants, that I need to produce this amount of milk. So after the session, most clients will tell me that, hey Jessica, thank you very much. I can pump out 20, 120 mils in that 15 minutes, or sometimes even shorter, because your breast has been reset, and that's when you can actually start your journey again. Many a times, uh, mummies will ask me, Jessica, does breastfeeding help me in postpartum weight loss? I would tell them yes, but to a certain extent, because um, when we breastfeed our babies, we do burn more calories. We burn additional uh, 500 calories more. And that's a lot because even when you jog on the treadmill, you don't even get to burn 120 calories. So that is why it says that it helps you to uh, lose weight. But if let's say um, when we burn more calories, we are using more energy. And we uh, more energy being consumed, we may get hungry. So when you get when you're hungry, some mummies will actually eat more as well. So you're going to balance up. If let's say you burn off 500 calories and you put in 700 calories, then that's additional 200 calories and that is why you can't lose your weight. I would feel that postpartum weight loss, uh, you must have a very balanced diet, you, you must do some workout, and uh, you, you must understand like how your body works. Maybe you cut off some sugar intake, cut off some carbs intake. This will help you to lose weight faster. Like for me, um, I've gained quite a fair bit from both of my babies uh, during my pregnancy. I took almost a year to lose off everything. I was not stressed because I feel that my, my main priority was to take care of my children. Uh, I feel that this is the most important thing. You shouldn't let uh, pregnancy weight be a, a factor for you to think about when am I losing it, uh, how can I lose it. Priority should be baby in a way, 
Of course, well-being does matter too, but don't put too much stress on it. Eventually, we will lose off this weight, just as long as you keep a healthy diet and exercise more. I guess that's very important. If you, if you want to take breastfeeding as the main bout to lose weight, I would say this can only help you to a certain extent. So if you want to do that, Maybe you just have to count your calories you take because you only have additional 500 calories more than other people. I hope my breastfeeding advice and tips will benefit mummies and mummies to be. Do remember that motherhood is not only about breastfeeding. As what many would say, it takes a village to raise a child. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. This is going to be a very rewarding and exciting journey for you and your mum.